In this video, we introduce the concept of the biological standard state. All right, so until now, in our discussion of how to calculate uh, the reaction gives energy under any conditions, uh, we have come up with an equation that is very powerful. Uh, and this expression tells you that you can calculate uh, the reaction gives energy uh, and then therefore predict whether a reaction is going to be spontaneous under any uh, uh, conditions of concentration if uh, you know what this value is, that that's the uh, standard Gibbs energy at the chemical standard state, or what we call the standard state until now, and then a correction uh, that tells you uh, how far away you are from that uh, standard state. Okay, this Q actually is simply, uh, again, a, a way to measure the concentrations of the state that you're interested in compared to the concentrations of that reference state, which we call the standard state. Okay, so for a reaction like A plus B to give C plus protons, we could simply write that uh, reaction quotient as uh, the concentration of C uh, over the concentration of C at the standard state times the concentration of protons over the concentration of protons at the standard state and then divide it over the concentrations of reagents, divide it over uh, the reference concentrations at the standard state. Okay, great. So um, if we make memory of what these concentrations at the standard state uh, are where, or how do we define the chemical standard state, what we actually had is that, it, is that if any of these species is a gas, then uh, these denominators that you have right here that would be a standard pressure of one bar. Again, this is just uh, completely arbitrary, and this is by, by convention. If you have solutes, uh, then those concentrations will be one more. Now, protons, generally, we consider them to be a solute as well. And then the reference concentration will be one more as well. OK, so that's great. That's, that's kind of what the chemical standard state is. However, there's a little bit of an awkward problem here. And that is that when you're studying uh, life processes, so chemical reactions that take place uh, in vivo, right? And notice that the chemical standard state for protons, which would be one molar, this is the same thing as saying that you're looking at a pH of zero as your reference. Okay, and again, nobody tells you what the standard state should be. You just make it up. But of course, making up a standard state of pH zero for in vivo applications looks a little reckless. Right, so uh, we actually have defined a new standard state, uh, which kind of avoids this awkwardness of having a reference state of pH zero that would be extremely aesthetic, uh, and just places it uh, in a pH that is more convenient for in vivo applications. Well, certainly the pH that you have in vivo range from uh, very acidic, like what we have in our stomachs, to a little bit alkaline, as we have in our blood or in our tissues, right? But I think that uh, you know people have agreed that maybe considering a pH seven, which is neutral pH, would be a much uh, a little bit of, of uh, a little bit of a more sound uh, standard state to study reactions in vivo. Right. So so we have defined a biological standard state uh, in which nothing changes, other uh, with respect to the chemical uh, standard state other than the concentration of protons, right? So if you have gases in your reactions, then uh, uh, this uh, pressure that is going to be referenced is just going to be still one bar. And then the concentration uh, of uh, solutes that are not protons, that would still be one molar. But if you have protons, then the idea is that now your concentration at this biological standard state is going to be 1.0, 10 to the minus 7 molar, and that's pH 7. Right? That's the only difference we are here, the concentration of protons. Now, we denote this uh, biological standard state a little bit differently from the chemical standard state. So instead of using these symbols that we have right here, okay, for the biological standard state, we're going to be using that symbol, which is a plus sign inside a circle. Okay, so this now will be uh, the standard uh, pressure at the biological state. That's the standard biological concentration, standard concentration of the biological state. Now, uh, how are we going to be using this in problems? Well, there's actually not a lot of changes in uh, the equations because now what you actually have is that that expression, 
which is uh, referred to the chemical standard state has to be rewritten, but now for the biological standard state. But really the only change is this. Uh, your reference gives energy will be that of the biological standard state, okay? So this number has to be given, and then, or, or you might need to calculate it, and then you will have the reaction quotient, but this reaction quotient will also be at the biological standard state. Okay, so uh, if we now write what this would mean in this particular case, I notice that nothing changes uh, compared to the expression that you have up here, except for uh, the concentration of protons, which will be uh, pH 7 or 1.0 10 to the minus 7. So we can rewrite all this and say, well, this is the concentration of C over the concentration of C at the biological standard state, the concentration of protons, over the concentration of protons uh, at the biological standard state, and the same thing uh, for reagents. Okay, so let's uh, finish writing this. And again, notice that these things look like they are the same, and they are, except for this value. Okay, that value is different. Okay, so we actually plug in here what these numbers will be. That is just one molar, that is just one molar, this is one molar, and the same thing for these ones, right? At the biological standard state, for any solid that is not protons, those concentrations are still one molar, so that doesn't change at all. Okay, one molar, one molar, one molar, and again, the only change here really is going to be this. In the case of the chemical standard state, that is one molar. In the case of the biological standard state, then this is 1.0, 10 to the minus 7, not pH 7. Okay, so that's really, in essence, what the biological standard state uh, is. It's just a more convenient way to think about uh, running these calculations so the reaction gives energy, uh, but using a state that is um, a little bit closer to reality for in vivo applications. Uh, in the next video, we're going to explain very briefly uh, how to actually uh, calculate this value, right? So the uh, reaction gives energy at the standard biological state from that value, which we know how to calculate from tables, or backwards, right? So how to uh, 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 obtain this from that, or obtain the chemical standard state from the biological standard state.